Is, is this thing recording? You know, living in this house is bullshit. Bullshit! I deal with so much trash! Trash! Tired as fuck. It's not even 6 a.m. yet. <sighs> Vlogging early. So that is pretty much how I get ready, gents. That's how I get ready for the morning, man. Have my cold brew. It's Sunday, it's Sunday. And I don't really know what to talk about and stuff. Kelly's still sleeping. I'm letting her sleep. We gotta work today. I'm working seven days this week. Working at the other shop. There's a pop-up shop today. They're going to be selling like sneakers, you know, really expensive ones. There's going to be food, which is kind of cool. And, um, yeah. So, I'm not going to have a lot of time to do the vlog and stuff. I've collected some clips throughout the week that I will s s splatter throughout this video. And I'm still waking up right now, got to be honest. But I wanted to do this because this is a treat for me, man. It's kind of a treat for me. It's a little challenging, more challenging than making knife videos. Because I get to, you know, spread my creative muscles or whatever in this small ass apartment that I have. And I get to use this new camera a lot more. And I figured, gotta keep doing these vlogs, man. Do I want to advance as a creator? You know, your boy Chatty Cathy, he can do the fucking podcast. But can I do vlogs too? Which... I've never done with a camera before, but I'm having a lot of fun right now. This week was was crazy. I'm not gonna talk too much about it because this is not a podcast, this is a vlog. Ah! So this has become the view of the channel so far, I think. I'm not gonna lie, I do like this a lot. I get to do this with my hands. <laughs> and it's pretty cool, man. Uh, wearing a hoodie today, it's fucking cold in here, man. Holy shit. And of course, your boy got the anime shirt on right here. This from an anime called Kingdom. I used to watch it a while back. It was about Mongolians and shit like that. But let's get to some knife talk a little bit. I uh, got a couple of new things that I didn't show yet. Actually, I did. I would have released the unboxing videos already. So I've got the Tepe Designs Keelage, which I think is pretty fucking sick, man. It's basically, a, uh, I would say this is a 300 plus knife, maybe 350, but it's like 260 bucks. You've got all the high-end features. You got that little ball for the pocket clip so that it slides in and out easy. It's like a ceramic ball. You've got carbon fiber, titanium, blue anodization on the backspacer. Look at this crazy Persian style blade. And I'm gonna have Tepe Designs on my podcast on Wednesday. So you guys will see that episode on Friday. Really, really cool. Uh, this is probably my favorite uh, knife in the collection right now. Check this out right here. This is the Tucson TS328. Uh, I almost said 38 for some reason. That's how early it is. Uh, this is a really good action on a knife and it's very nicely finished It is liner lock, which I found very strange because when you got like titanium scales you usually just make it a frame lock So I'm gonna ask Tepe what his uh, decision-making process was to do that But this is this is an odd one for me because it is a very very nice knife I think the bidding on this starts at around $103 and this is, this is fucking cool. I just, uh, I don't know what 
it's four. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's not really grippy or anything. Um, and I just don't know what it's for. It's it's a nice knife. It's a nice knife. It's it's certainly not my style, but a lot of people have taken shine to this one. I've just started asking me questions about it, and I wanted to showcase it again here, because that's what happens when you send knives to EDCC, man. Even if it's not my style of knife, I'm going to make as much content as I can for you. Um, and uh, I've got the Asher Spiro here, which I think is really nice, actually. S35EN G10. Really good action. 75 bucks. Uh, very thin blade stock. Very thin. But I... I don't know. Like, it didn't cut that well for me when I cut stuff with it. I think it's because I'm one of the last reviewers in the Apex Pass Around group to get it. That is one of the bad things um, about being in a big Pass Around group is if you get the knife, like, kind of last, you won't... It's not gonna be sharpened, and some things we're not allowed to sharpen. And also, I probably wouldn't sharpen this because I'm not good at sharpening. Um, but it didn't cut that well, and I think that it should. If you were to just put like a really nice edge on this, I do see some chipping and stuff like that. I strapped it, and it, it became a little bit better. But it's not slicing through paper like I think it should because if the blade stock is relatively you know, decently thin, not super thin like a TRM Atom or something, but, but pretty thin though. So, yeah, it looks pretty thin. I mean, just check that out. One of the highlights right now for me is this little tray. I didn't even know I needed this tray. So I have CBD joints right here. Mark H, shout out to the homie, sent me a big package. Um, and yeah, I got this one. <laughs> I got these trays, boy. I got these, uh, look at this, look at the astronaut. That's me. That's me when I'm chilling with the Kelly. He's got like a beaker. Yeah, let me show you guys. He's got like a beaker and he's drinking a soda or a beer or something in space. And uh, yeah, that's what we be doing, me and Kelly sometimes. We're just hanging out here. Yo, what's funny is Kelly was like, all right, so which Victorinox are you gonna give me? I'm like, bro, you don't even EDC. All right, let's do this view because I'm like chatting it up right now. Kelly was like, yo, which Victorinox you gonna give me? I was like, you ain't the EDC, bro. What the, what you talking? And she was like, yes I do. You don't know what I carry. I was like, all right, why don't you submit to EDC fits then? You know? It was pretty funny. I don't know, she was saying that yesterday. Chia, ch 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 chia pet. So we were gonna make this a project and put it on the vlog for this week, but it's gonna have to wait till next week because I definitely want to film us playing with this. This one um, also comes from Mark H. It's really awesome, and uh, yeah, we're gonna have. I don't know. I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna call the Mr. David or Mr. Hasselhoff, and we're just gonna be like trying to grow this dude. There's the instructions on the back. Uh, I feel. I feel very fortunate that I'm connecting with so many of you. This is turning out to be a fucking podcast. <laughs> but I'm in a very good place right now as a YouTube uh, creator. I'm just, uh, I'm on a roll basically where I'm just creating content uh, every day and, and that's never happened for me and I have you guys to thank for that. You know what I mean? I've never been this disciplined with the channel before where I'm creating content all the time on all platforms and I'm not burning out. I'm really not, um, and I don't know why that is, and I hope it continues to be that way, but, you know, shout out to you guys, man, you know, the people I've gotten really close with, there are a bunch of you now, and uh, it's funny because I think you guys are trying to outdo each other with sending stuff in the channel, which I find hilariously entertaining, but you don't, I'm not saying you shouldn't send me a giant package because it's awesome, but, you know, you don't need to send me, like, mad crazy shit you know what I mean like you you know like little fit devil I'm gonna give you a perfect example yo like little fit devil just hops in alive and she just sent me stickers you know what I mean and, and that helps me out as a creator you know like some people only send me one knife to, to just loan me one knife to check out and that's cool too you know this this channel has become like me interacting with you guys 
and I don't even know shit about knives, honestly. I don't know that much. You know, you have other creators to watch to get that, yo. And I just feel really, really fucking happy that I, I'm starting to find my groove on the channel and you guys have helped me find that, man, you know? I think I've just been... I've just been needing a time to say it to you. And, and this is that time that... Yeah, I put some shine on your names, yo. Well, I'm not gonna do that because there's so many and I don't want to miss anybody because I just woke up. Now that you guys know this is Frankie, if you mess with him, he'll fuck you up. <coughs> ah, look at that bite. Holy crap. It's a warning bite, it's like a tiger. Bro, babe, it's crazy, ain't it? Ain't it, Rob? He knows what he's being filmed, yeah, this motherfucker. Ain't it, Rob? It's crazy, ain't it? Ever for the lot, me, ain't it? Only comes in loose leaf. Loose leaf. I used that to prop up the camera earlier. No, you used that to prop up the camera. That's my other surgical one. technology. Sup, dude? You don't a whole lot trying to make things better. So, you know you're not in this vlog that much? Yeah. Which is why I'm filming you right now. Okay. Vlogger! <laughs> what are you doing? Making everything wet so it grows. That sounds really fucking sexual, dude. Nah. These are plants right here. I don't have the, uh, the ND filter on, so it's a little bright. And That's also, okay. We have a cat. He's helping. Hi, Frankie. Frankie you want to say hi to the vlog? <laughs> no. This is your boy in the NYC. It's me, Ray, and this is the EDCC saying peace. Yo, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to hit that bell icon so we can squat up in the comments.